If we just pile up organic material, we'll eventually achieve that gardener's gold known as compost. There are a few things that can make composting take longer or lead to problems with your pile. Now, a pile that is too dry will simply not have enough microbial action to break down materials quickly. Add more kitchen scraps, coffee grounds, or manure to get things warmed up. Wet the pile thoroughly so that it is not dripping wet, but has the consistency of a wrung out sponge, evenly damp. And you'll want to keep the top of the compost pile concave or scooped out so that rainfall or water that you apply soaks into the pile rather than being shed off of it. If you're seeing a lot of pill bugs, sow bugs, and millipedes, these creatures do help break down organic materials, but they're an indicator that your pile is actually too dry. And these ants, pill bugs, earwigs, and sow bugs can be a problem if you add them to your garden from your compost pile. They can attack tender seedlings and transplants in your garden. So spread your compost in a thin layer on a tarp or a piece of cardboard in a sunny spot for a day or two before adding that compost to their garden so they have a chance to scurry away. Now, is your compost slimy or smelly? Perhaps you've added too many kitchen scraps or fresh grass clippings at one time. Add carbon materials in the form of dry leaves, shredded newspaper or torn up cardboard or egg cartons, and turn the pile to add oxygen and distribute the moisture. You want to strive for a three parts brown carbon materials to one part green nitrogen ratio for your compost. Heavy, wet, or smelly compost piles are full of anaerobic bacteria which don't require oxygen to thrive. Aerobic bacteria need oxygen, and they're the ones that break down organic materials most efficiently. So turning your compost or stirring it to add oxygen can lead to faster composting. If we're having a lot of rain, consider keeping your compost pile convex or pointed to shed rain and use a tarp to cover the pile. Rats, raccoons, skunks, and other rodents can be attracted to your kitchen scraps within the compost pile. An enclosed compost tumbler may be your best option to avoid unwanted wildlife in the compost pile. A wire cage around the compost bin can deter pests too. Another option is to use a blender to grind up food scraps and water safe from cooking or washing vegetables and put that ground up liquid in the pile. It keeps the pile moist also and deters rodents. A compost pile that's at least one cubic yard in size will be able to heat up and cook more efficiently. Smaller compost tumblers maintain heat better because of their dark plastic material so they can work well despite their smaller size. Shred your leaves with a mower or chop garden materials like your tomato and pepper plants while they're still tender and green to make the chore easier. The smaller the materials, the faster you will have finished compost. Stockpile leaves in the winter so you always have a ready supply. I like to grow Elbon rye or annual rye as a cover crop in the garden or over lawn areas in the winter and then cut that to have a nitrogen source when I have plenty of leaves available. A little coffee grounds and kitchen scraps added to those will make fabulous compost in no time. For Backyard Basics, I'm Trisha Shari. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.